Hi there, Callum for Top 10 VPN here, and today I'm going to take a look at Surfshark and Netflix. We're going to go through how you can unblock some of the popular libraries, what you can do if they don't unblock, and also just talk generally about what it is that makes Surfshark so good with Netflix and how Netflix works with VPNs in general. So, no time to be wasted, let's get straight into it, and we're going to look right away at Netflix here, Surfshark on the right, and we're going to see how we can unblock our first library. Now, I'm based in the United Kingdom, which means that ordinarily, without a VPN at all, I will have access to Netflix's United Kingdom library, which makes sense, right? And I'll be the same wherever you are in the world. But what we want to do, and what perhaps you want to do as well, is access the United States library. So it's super straightforward. All we're going to do is go to the VPN and connect to a United States server. And in this instance, I'm not even going to choose one. You can see right there under my, uh, my recently used servers, there's New York, so I'll just click on it and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll work straight off the bat. So you click and wait for it to connect for a second. And now with it connected, we go over to the Netflix window. I'm already logged in. And the great thing about this is you don't even need to log out. You don't need to really do anything. All I'm gonna do is hold down shift and click refresh. And the reason I'm gonna hold down shift is because that enacts something called a hard refresh where rather than just refreshing the web page like you normally would, it's also going to clear the cache as well. And the cache is what can sometimes trip people up when they're trying to change Netflix libraries because the cache is little files that are stored on your computer by your browser that give away bits of personal information about who you are, and particularly where you are as well. So now that it doesn't know that I'm in the United Kingdom, I've changed libraries, uh, ch sorry, changed servers, and I've gotten rid of my cache. We refresh the page, and after a little bit of time spent waiting for it to load, we're going to see that now we have access to the United States Netflix library. How do I know that it's United States Netflix library? Well, if we scroll down here, you can see where it says the top 10 in X today. In this case, the country is the United States. And in most instances, when you refresh your Netflix library and change regions with a VPN, it'll show whatever country you're in there. Uh, the other way that I know for sure, because sometimes that can be a little unreliable, is if we take a look it's not just showing Netflix exclusives. That's a big giveaway a lot of the time. Sometimes you might uh, you might change your server with a VPN and refresh Netflix, and it's showing you titles, and you're allowed to watch them, so you think, well, hey, it's, it's worked. But that's not necessarily the case. If we look in the top left-hand corner of a bunch of these tiles, you'll see the Netflix N, and that means it's a Netflix uh, first-party title, and those are available on just about every single Netflix library around the world, because they're made by Netflix themselves. What you want to be looking for is the titles which don't have the Netflix N, and that's kind of a pretty good sign that you're getting uh, kind of non-Netflix exclusive titles that are bespoke to the region that you're in. And that's what we want to be looking for. So now we click on a title here, uh, anyone will do, and it begins to load straight away, and it plays, and there you go. It's really that's that simple. You're all up and ready and watching Netflix with uh, the click of a button. So let's take a look at another library now. Let's take a look at another library now, the United Kingdom Library. Now, you may remember I just said earlier that I am located in the United Kingdom. That's true, but the interesting thing about the way VPNs work is that regardless of where I actually am, if I connect to a United Kingdom server that doesn't work with Netflix, I won't get proper access to it, regardless of the fact that I technically myself am still located in the UK. So don't worry, this is still a legitimate test of whether or not Surfshark's UK servers work with Netflix. So I'm going to scroll down the server list, going to pick a server there, uh, London, because that's closer to where I am, so I'll get the fastest speeds hopefully. And once it's connected, I go back and once again, holding down shift and clicking refresh on my browser to get Netflix up again. And uh, we take a look at the titles. And what's interesting is that in this particular instance, the homepage hasn't loaded up the little subtitles I mentioned before where it says what the top shows are. So another way you can go and check that is if you go to the new and popular tab. So it's netflix.com forward slash latest in the URL. And now we can see it's the best shows and movies in the UK. We know that it's worked. There's a title, Friends, super popular, of course. And we know that that one isn't available in every Netflix region. Won't show you too much of it because I don't want to get a copyright strike on YouTube, but we know that it's working. And there's plenty of other titles right there alongside it, which haven't got the Netflix logo in the corner. So we know that we're getting our exclusives for the United Kingdom. Right, third library coming up. Let's go for India, another popular library from all the way on the other side of the world and we'll give it a go and see what happens. I know for a fact, spoiler alert, I know that Surfshark works with uh, Indian Netflix very reliably. So again, I'll choose a server location, doesn't matter which, and we wait for it to connect there, jump on in, and go over to the Netflix window. Once again, 
doing a hard refresh on the page, it loads up and we can see, giving it some time, that yeah, we have Indian Netflix, Indian shows, Indian movies unblocked. Uh, not all in Indian language, for, for what it's worth. If you haven't checked it out before, there's some really cool, unique titles out on Indian Netflix. You don't have to be someone who can speak one of the Indian dialects to enjoy it, but it's all there, so we can play around and explore and see whatever we want to watch. So, that's a really simple way of unblocking three different libraries, and Surfshark actually works with a ton more, like loads and loads and loads. You can check it out on our full review or on the dedicated guide, but uh, I think the more prominent point to cover now is what happens if we try to access a Netflix library and Surfshark can't unblock it. So let's take a look at that. Now, we're back again, and it actually took me a little while to find a library that Surfshark doesn't work with. It's genuinely a very, very good Netflix VPN. I went through uh, maybe five to ten different libraries and it unblocked all of them, but eventually we got to Columbia, and that is one of the specific bespoke Netflix libraries Surfshark doesn't work with. And how do we know that? Well, we're refreshing the page right now, and you're seeing what I was talking about earlier, right? Almost every single one of those tiles has got just the Netflix logo in the corner. That means it's not working with it. It means that while you can still watch Netflix, you're, heav you're, you're heavily, heavily limited to just the uh, first party content. There's, there's nothing from outside of Netflix's exclusive content library there for you to watch. So while it's technically working and that you can watch things, it's not working in the respect that we're looking for. So let's say there's a title that you know is on the Colombian Netflix library that you're desperate to watch. You've got Surfshark, that's your VPN, and you can't get that title. What do we do? There's a very handy website I'm going to browse to you right now called uh, unogs.com. Unox, Unogs, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. That's the one that you want. And if we go to the country details, you can see it lists all the different Netflix libraries, or at least a great number of them, maybe not all of them. And it has them sorted by country, along with all of the titles available on them, and then it also very helpfully breaks down for you all of the countries that each specific title is available in. And in 99.9% .9 of instances, they're not going to be in just one library alone. Chances are if you're looking for something on Colombian Netflix, it's not going to be available only in Colombia. There are going to be other libraries. So we take a look at, say, Random Hearts, 1999. It's available in a bunch of countries there. Uh, Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, Sweden. So, I know that Brazil is a library that Surfshark can unblock, so we connect to Brazil, and now let's go to Netflix and refresh the page, just exactly as we did before. Hard refresh, as always, don't forget it. You'll know when you've done it wrong. And once it's loaded, we can now go and search for that title. Here we are, top 10 in Brazil today, we know it's working. We go and search for Random Hearts, and it shows up there. Perfect. So, hopefully, with a bit of luck, you can kind of do that for any title that it is that you want to watch. You don't need to accept defeat straight away. Find, uh, find the, the title on, U, on UNOGS, UNOGS, UNOGS. Search for it, see the other libraries that, uh, that it's compatible with, and then find one that Surfshark works with, which in my experience, and in our experience in the office testing it, which we do uh, an awful lot, we spend a ton of time doing that, you're probably going to find one that works, so it's not all bad. Now, in my experience, that is kind of the simplest way of getting Surfshark to work with a Netflix library when it isn't working. It may be a couple of extra steps involved, but realistically, it's going to be your best chance of beating it because you, you know it's going to work, right? You're going to find a library eventually that is compatible with the title you're looking for and the Surfshark does unblock. Uh, there are other ways you can go about it. You can try changing server. That's obviously a common suggestion you're going to see online a lot. And that can work, but of course, there are some countries where you can't choose the server because Surfshark doesn't have... Uh, servers in different cities within that country, so you can't always do that. Alternatively, you might try clearing the cookies and cash. Always a good idea, can absolutely work for you. It's the reason why we were doing the shift click for the hard refresh to clear those cookies and cash, but that doesn't do it for your entire browser. It only does it for the page that you're on, so that's a good idea as well if you're getting a block on Netflix is to go into your browser settings and clear the cookies and cash. I'm not going to walk you through how to do that exactly right now because it's different for all different browsers, but you can find more information on that step-by-step -step walkthrough on the page which this video is hosted, which I will link to in the description below if you are watching on YouTube. Alternatively, you can use a different encryption protocol. If you go into Surfshark settings, you can choose between the automatic option, you also have access to Ike v2, to the two different forms of OpenVPN, UDP or TCP, and you also have access to WireGuard. Uh, at least on Windows and Mac, that, that option might might be different on uh, the mobile devices. 
that can work. Again, you're kind of getting to, to the bottom of the barrel with that one. It's pretty rare for that to solve the issue. Always worth trying, of course, but I really do believe the simplest way of doing it is to try UNOGS and seeing if you can find a different library that has a title that you want and that Surfshark will work with. And it's really that simple. Uh, Surfshark is a fantastic VPN for Netflix. It really is one of the best, one of the most reliable, but of course it's not perfect. Very few VPNs are, I mean, none of them are perfect. I don't know why I'd even say that. None of them can unblock every single Netflix library every time of asking. It's gonna be trial and error sometimes, or maybe you'll even be using a server that has worked with the same library that you love for months. And then all of a sudden it stops. We get that all the time in the testing. Uh, things can change very, very quickly. Uh, as I've said before in videos like this, Netflix is constantly trying to outwit VPN services. They don't want VPNs unblocking libraries from regions that the user themselves is not in. Why is that? It might sound a bit counterintuitive, because of course on the one hand, Netflix wants as many people watching Netflix as possible, that goes without saying. But on the other, they have signed a series of agreements with various right holders and studios and production companies and things like that to show the titles and distribute them and it will be very very rare that Netflix signs a deal for a specific movie or TV series and then that deal applies for the entire world. That, that basically never happens so that's why you need the VPN to unblock titles that are available in different regions and that's also why it's of the utmost importance for Netflix that it tries its hardest to stop people from doing that because if it doesn't it's in deep deep trouble with those rights holders with whom it has a contract. So that's kind of why it works like that and Netflix dedicates inordinate amount of resources to preventing this from happening but of course VPNs do too. Now very few VPNs have the sort of money that Netflix does, none of them of course, but they are very single-minded in their approach to trying to beat that Surfshark especially and it does a great job of it 99% of the time, does a very very good job and with the really popular libraries like the US, like the UK uh, that we've seen already and a few more it's going to have close to a 100% uptime. Like it's always, always, always in our experience, more or less going to work with it. And if it doesn't, you can try changing servers. Like I said, you can try contacting support as well is always a good idea. Uh, Surfshark's got good live chat support and you can just message them and say, hey, I want to watch Netflix in this region. Can you recommend me a server that will work with it? Or can you tell me how I can go about doing that? Uh, best case scenario, they'll fix it for you. Worst case scenario, they'll take a note of it and hopefully sooner rather than later they'll have it back up and running again but um that's kind of the relationship between netflix and vpns and why it works the way it does that's everything covered hopefully that's uh shown you how simple it can be it's uh allayed any fears that you might have maybe you're here because you're thinking of getting a surfshark subscription and you were kind of skeptical as to whether or not it really works but you can see right there in front of me i've done it for you live it works absolutely fine super super reliable and in my experience, a VPN well worth going for. Also, super secure and has lots of other benefits. It's very quick. You can do it on all your apps, um, on all your different devices. It'll work exactly the same if you're trying to watch on iPhone or maybe you've got like a Fire Stick, something like that. So nothing to worry about there. A great product all around with uh, a lot of things to like when it comes to Netflix. Not the absolute best, if I'm being honest. There is a link in the description below once again to our roundup, which has a constantly updated list of the very best VPNs for Netflix, including all the different libraries that they unblock. So make sure to check that out if you are solely in the market of getting a VPN for Netflix. So have a read of that. Hopefully it can be of some use. Hopefully you like the video. Let me know what you want to see next. Any VPNs that you want to see trying to unblock Netflix or maybe any different libraries that you want to see VPNs trying to unblock. Different streaming services because there are a lot out there and they're not all as straightforward as Netflix. So let me know in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.